I'm going to work through two exam style questions on radioactive decay chains. Number one, the actinium series of radioactive decays starts with an isotope of uranium. Its nucleon number is two three five, and proton number is ninety two. Which line in the table shows the nucleon number and proton number of the isotope after the emission of five alpha particles and two beta particles? Nucleon number is just another word for mass number, and proton number is the atomic number. The mass number of an alpha particle is four, and the atomic number is two. So after five alpha decays, there should be a decrease of twenty in the mass number, and the atomic number it should drop by ten. Two hundred thirty-five minus twenty that gives us two hundred and fifteen. Ninety-two minus ten that's eighty-two. So it becomes a new element with a mass number of two hundred and fifteen, an atomic number of eighty-two. This element will now go through two beta decays. The mass number should remain unchanged, but the atomic number should increase by two, so that the two sides of the nuclear equation are balanced. So the answer here must be C. Here's another exam style question. This radium isotope is unstable and undergoes a series of alpha and beta emissions until a stable isotope of lead is formed. Which of the following nuclear equations correctly shows the number of alpha and beta emissions? Let's write down the facts that radium goes through both alpha and beta decays. Since beta decay does not change the mass number, we should look at alpha decay first. The difference in mass number between radium and lead is twenty. So I gotta think, how many alpha decay will reduce the mass number by twenty? That has to be five. And after five alpha decays, the atomic number on the right hand side increases by ten, and that totals to ninety two. We have four too many at the bottom on the right hand side of the equation, so we need four beta decays to fully balance this equation. Our final answer is C. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, be sure to subscribe.